Hi, my friends. Welcome back to our day of read aloud time for the miraculous journey of Edward Tulane. Um, so yesterday was chapter 18 and Sarah Ruth and Edward, who's now Jangles, and Bryce, um, well, first they started with Bryce turning um, Edward into a puppet and making him dance for Sarah Ruth. And then they ended by going outside together and looking at the stars. And both Sarah Ruth and Edward wished on a shooting star. So we will find out what happens today in chapter 19. Here we go. The days passed. The sun rose and set and rose and set and rose and set again and again. Sometimes the father came home and sometimes he did not. Edward's ears became soggy and he did not care. His sweater had almost completely unraveled. Didn't bother him. He was hugged half to death, and it felt good. In the evenings, at the hands of Bryce, at the ends of the twine, Edward danced and danced and danced. One ma month passed, and then two, and then three. Sarah Ruth got worse. In the fifth month, she refused to eat. And in the sixth month, she began to cough up blood. Her breathing became ragged and uncertain, as if she was trying to remember in between breaths what to do, what breathing was. Breathe, honey, Bryce stood over her and said. Breathe, thought Edward, from deep inside the wells of her arms. Please, please, breathe. Bryce stopped leaving the house. He sat at home all day and held Sarah Ruth in his lap and rocked her back and forth and sang to her on a bright morning in September. Sarah Ruth stopped breathing. Oh no, said Bryce. Oh honey, take a little breath, please, please. Edward had fallen out of Sarah Ruth's arms the night before, and she had not asked for him again. So face down on the floor, arms over his head, Edward listened as Bryce wept. He listened as the father came home and shouted at Bryce. He listened as the father wept. You can't cry! Bryce shouted. You got no right to cry. You never even loved her. You don't know nothing about love. I loved her, said the father. I loved her. I loved her too, thought Edward. I loved her and now she is gone. How could this be, he wondered. He could bear to live in a world. How could he bear to live in a world without Sarah? The yelling between the father and the son continued, and then there was a terrible moment when the father insisted that Sarah Ruth belonged to him, and that she was his girl, his baby, and that he was taking her to be buried. She ain't yours, Bryce screamed. You can't take her. She ain't yours. But the father was bigger and stronger, and he prevailed. He wrapped Sarah Ruth in a blanket and carried her away. The small house became very Edward could hear Bryce moving around, muttering to himself. And then finally, the boy picked Edward up. Come on, Jangles, Bryce said. We're leaving. We're going to Memphis. And here they are. Off to Memphis. And that is the end of our chapter. So next week we will read chapter 20. And we will have to find out what happens with Bryce and Edward on their way to Memphis. Have a great weekend.